What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are hopping onto the ranked ladder for Regulation H using this Umbreon and Hisuian Typhlosion team. Now, when it comes to Umbreon and Hisuian Typhlosion, these Pokemon weren't really used or that viable in previous formats. But now that Regulation H is here and Legendary and Paradox Pokemon are now out of the format, Pokemon like this can shine. So we're trying it out today. Hopefully grab some wins on the rank ladder. Super excited for Regulation H. But let's talk about this Umbreon real quick. It's got Inner Focus and the Mirror Herb as item. Rock and Foul Play, Snarl, Skill Swap, and Moonlight. Now Umbreon's basically a little pester Pokemon. It can just drop special attack, kind of stay on the field and do chip damage. I really like this Pokemon, especially with the Moonlight move. You can get HP recovery back and just stay on the field and just be annoying. So I like Umbreon. Like I mentioned, we got Hisuian Typhlosion on today's team, and we're pairing it up with Heat Rock Ninetales to set the sun. Typhlosion's got Frisk, it's got the Choice Scarf as its item, it's got Eruption, Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, and Focus Blast. I do like this moveset here, and like I mentioned, we're pairing it up with Ninetales, so if I can get this Pokemon out in the sun with the Choice Scarf, it's going to outspeed and do a ridiculous amount of damage. Our final three Pokemon on today's team, going to be Annihilate, Mousehold, and Whimsicott. Whimsicott here for support and Tailwind Control, and Mousehold and Annihilate, you guys seen this combo when Scarlet and Violet first started off, it's back. It's going to be crazy strong. You're going to be seeing this a lot. Annihilate can do big time damage with Rage Fist, you can bulk up to get a stat boost, and Mousehold can help it out with Beat Up. And follow me for support. Mousehold's a great Pokemon. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Mental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop through our first match showcasing this Umbreon and Typhlosion team. First match on the rank ladder for Regulation H, and we are going up against a Dantozo team without Tatsugiri. They also have Ursaluna, they have Breloom, they got Scizor, Dragonite, and Mousehold. So pretty cool team right here. One thing I do notice is no weather control. So do I just go into Typhlosion and Ninetales? I kind of like this, especially if you have physical attackers. I can kind of just, you know, drop them real quickly with Will-O-Wisp for my Ninetales, right? You have Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, so I can just, you know, do that. I like it. We also have Encore. I'm all about this. We're going to go straight into the Weather Squad. They have no way of changing weather. In the back end, we could go Mouse Hold Annihilate. We could go... I definitely want Annihilate, but do we want Umbreon instead of Annihilate? Hmm. What do I want to do here? I mean, special attack drops will only be good for Ursa Luna. You got foul play though. You know what? Let's let's give you a shot here. Let's go Umbreon. Let's go Umbreon here. We don't use Umbreon too often, so it's gonna be nice to actually use this Pokemon. But I feel like this Typhlosion and Ninetales combo can get us started off on the right foot. Let's just see who they end up leading. Cause I mean, they can't e speed me, right? Because I'm Ghost type. They could bullet punch me, but it's gonna be not very effective. Just a lot of different options here. They're gonna go into Dragonite and Mousehold. I don't mind that. I do not mind that. Do I Terrastalize? And just drop an eruption. So he's got Choice Band and the Choppleberry. Alright, so Choice Band Dragonite on the field. I feel like I have to burn this Pokemon. I just think Terra Eruption's gotta be the play. It's gotta be the play. Do I Terra though? I really don't want to give it. Yeah, you know what? We're not gonna Terra. Reason I'm not gonna Terra is because I don't want to give that Dragonite a way to E speed me. I'm going to keep my ghost typing. So Helping Hand's going to come out here. Are you helping handing E-Speed in my Ninetales? That's the real question. You're not E-Speeding. So you look like you're just going to attack my... My what's it called? Oh, my Will-O-Wisp lands first too. That's huge. Looks like you're just going to attack my Typhlosion. So we landed Ice Burner. You could be going for like Stomping Tantrum. That could be the play. You're going to go for EQ. Oh no. You're going to take out your Mouse Hold. And yeah, dude. That's some damage. Choice Ban EQ. All right, I burned that Pokemon. We know he's going for EQ. Typhlosion did some nice damage. Um, hmm. Guess I go into my Annihilate here, right? Or I could go into you. I am going to go into you. I'm going to go into Umbreon. We're going to look to kind of win this game with Annihilate here. So EQ actually did a great chunk of damage. Still taking out my Typhlosion through the burn. But well, they're going to go into Ursulina, which I'm cool with. I am cool with this. Because from here, I can snarl that thing down, lower its special attack a little bit. Um, I guess I just attack it. I could go for Heat Wave. Maybe try to go for a Burn, but I mean, Weather Ball a little bit better for us. He's choice in EQ. He could swap. I think like we just go into Weather Ball here. 
And then we just snarl. I'm cool with this. A little bit of snarl action. So we're gonna lower this thing's special attack. He's gonna end up withdrawing Dragonite, which is cool by me. I mean, you're gonna take out my Nine Tails. I was gonna Weather Ball that slot too, just in case he wanted to swap. And he's gonna go into Breloom. Breloom coming out here. And we're gonna see a Terra type. Probably normal, right? You're looking to go for Hyper Voice here. Which is fine. Yeah, normal. That's cool. If I get. My Umbreon's definitely should outspeed this Ursa Luna, so if I could just snarl it down, that could be really good for us. Plus, chances are Breloom is Focus Ash. So, honestly, taking off Focus Ash with Snarl could be good. So, there's that. Snarl's gonna fly. Lower that. And it's gonna come down to Umbreon and Annihilate. Because we know he's going for Hyper Voice. We know he's looking for damage here. Breloom could Spore, which could get rather annoying. And it's still doing... Okay, it got a crit on my Umbreon. I was gonna say, it still did a ridiculous amount of damage. Of course, it gets a crit. So he crits on the Hyper Voice down to our Annihilate. Do I bulk up here? That's the real question. I'm scared of the Spore. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and, like, lie here. I'm scared of the Spore, and I think you're gonna protect. I really do think he protects right here. So I might just double down to Breloom. Hmm. I'm gonna Moonlight here. I'm gonna Moonlight. I think you protect. You're not gonna protect. You're just gonna attack. Wow, I could've just taken out the Annihilate. That really sucks. I could've just taken out Annihilate. I thought you were gonna go for Spore. So Moonlight comes out here. We're gonna get back some HP. Depends how much HP. Let's see. Oh, that's beautiful. Blood Moon's gonna launch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can you soak this, please? Awesome. I can Drain Punch you next turn. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I can Drain Punch this, uh... This Ursaluna this turn, which could be really good for us. And I'm gonna do that, and... I still have Terra. I do still have Terra, but I think I should save it for Dragonite. Because he's gonna choice into a move. And I think I have to save it for Dragonite. Yeah, I'm gonna save it. I mean, we don't have to get rid of our thing. So I'm gonna go in the Drain Punch this slot, and I'm gonna Foul Play Breloom. See how much damage we can do. I swear, if you protect Ursaluna here... Okay, cool, you don't protect Ursaluna. That's big time. That's really big for us, because Drain Punch gonna finish... Oh, it doesn't even finish at all. That's scary, but luckily it can't use Blood Moon again. Cannot use Blood Moon. Foul Play comes through here, picks up the KO. That's massive. And if you could soak this Hyper Voice, Umbreon, I will love you forever. If you could soak this Hyper Voice, I'll love you forever. You can. Oh my lord. Alright. Okay, okay. Okay, so I could bulk up. We do have this thing burned, which is good. I think I have to double down into Ursaluna this turn. The real question is, I don't know what move it's going for, though. I gotta see what move this thing's choiced into, because I know it's choice banned. Um, I have Fire Terror. I don't want to Terrasalize just yet, because the problem with Terrasalizing is I don't want to let that thing, like, E-Speed. I don't want it to go into EQ. Um, I think we just do this. And if we can get off a of Moonlight, that'd be nice. Actually, I think I'd rather Foul Play. Actually, I'd rather Moonlight. Probably get some HP back. Yeah, I'm cool with this. Ursaluna has been protecting, so I'm not going to read the Protect here. There's E-Speed. He's choicing in the E-Speed. We just won the game. We just won the game. Thanks for playing. I'm a Ghost-type. I'm a Ghost-type. This is why I didn't want to Rastalize. That worked out perfectly. You choice in the E speed. I know your choice ban because I used a frisk earlier with my Typhlosion. And Annihilate and Umbreon clutch up match number one on the rank ladder for us. Come on, man. That's too easy. I'm a ghost type. I'm a ghost type. I'm a ghost type. Yeah, the, the, he had the choice into something else. And I got leftovers doing all this stuff. And honestly, I've been actually hit a good bit. So, I mean, Rage Fist can start doing damage. Plus, you're burned, too. I'm just not worried about it. Plus, you can't hit me. You can't hit me. You might as well cancel the match. Yep, they cancel the match. We're sitting 1-0 on the rank ladder. Moving on to match number two. We're sitting 1-0, but we got ourselves a Weather War. Pelipper, Archaludon, Blastoids, Annihilate, Mousehold, just like us. And then they got Sinistra. So, again, Weather War, Annihilate, going to be great for us. Um, Who can I go into here? I could go Annihilate Umbreon. A lot of special attackers for them, so I actually really like this. I'm going to end up going into both of them. I think going into, like, Ninetales and Typhlosion could work as 
back end. But looking at you, I wouldn't mind you with like helping hand and moonblast. But I think we have to bring in Nine Tails and Typhoon. That's gonna be my play. That is gonna be my play. So if they want to go into if they want to go into Annihilate, like turn one, just like us with Mousehold, I mean, we can foul play. They could follow me, which could get annoying, but I think I would just start bulking up at that point. We'll see who they end up leading. I'm hoping it's not Annihilate Mousehold. I ho I'm hoping it's just like Pelipper, and then I'll just hard swap my Umbreon into Ninetales and then maybe bulk up for a turn. Kind of just play it out that way. But they're rocking Blastoid, so I'm a big fan of this. This is why Regulation H is going to be so cool, because we're going to be seeing Pokemon that we haven't seen in so long. But they end up going Mousehold Annihilate. This combo is so back. It's so back. It's so good. Um, And we're going to go into our combo. But da, 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 da. we could just foul play. We could bulk up. Could go into Water Terror. I think you. I don't think you're going to be able to KO me with... I don't think you're KO me with Drain Punch. I'm pretty bulky. So I'm just going to launch a foul play. And I am going to Terrasalize you and bulk up. Because I don't want him going for... Uh, I don't want him going for... What is it called? Beat up into his own Annihilate, and then just going for a Rage Fist into my Annihilate. So I think I'm going to Thrash Slice, go for the bulk up, and maybe try to just Drain Punch their uh, Mouse Hold down next turn. So we're going to get after it. We didn't use Terra last game, but now this game we're using it first turn. First turn, we're getting right after it with our Terra type. So we'll go straight into Fire. Put that Chandelier on our head. Bunch of candles. And they're going to Thrash Slice too. You going Fire or are you going Ghost Mouse Hold? Curious. Maybe Ghost Mouse Hold here. It's gonna be fire. Is it fire? It's gonna be fire. Great minds think alike. I love it. It's a double fire <laughs> on its way. Hopefully, he's still going for Rage Fist in me. I like that. Yep, there's Beat Up. There's Beat Up. You're definitely going for Rage Fist. Hopefully, I can bulk up beforehand. That'd be really nice. Let's see how he plays this one. But my bulk up does come out beforehand, so I'm plus one on defense. Plus one on attack. This Rage Fist is still probably doing a ridiculous amount of damage. You gotta calm down here. <laughs> what is going on? So much damage. Foul Boy doing okay damage. And I could end up protecting him this turn. Push up leftovers. Um, I'd love to double down into this thing. Do I double down? You could go for follow me. I'm gonna double down. Just because I know we outspeed. If you go for follow me, you go for follow me. Then I get back a ton of HP and pick up the KO on the mouse hold. Oh, man! God dang it, Yep, there's follow me. So we'll take out the mouse hold here, unless you're focus ashed. But I am gonna get back a ton of HP and hopefully get enough HP back where I can soak up another Rage Fist, but I doubt it, right? I would need a lot of HP. Yeah, that ain't enough. That ain't enough. So we're going to lose our... We're going to lose our Annihilate, but we're taking out the Mouse Hold, and we're actually doing some great damage here. You go for Drain Punch instead. Ooh, this actually works way better for us. I keep my Annihilate. I keep my Annihilate. You don't take him out. Do you think I was protecting? I think they thought I was protecting. The Foul Play launches, chipping up great damage. Umbreon's Foul Play is just awesome. And my Annihilate's back up to decent HP. Bulked up plus one. Um... I wonder who he goes into. So I'm thinking a Drain Punch could just KO this Mouse Hold. Well, not the Mouse Hold, the Annihilate at this point. Let's see what they got. It's going to be Blastoise. Having Blastoise makes me think that you have... Uh... I mean, I'm going to Snarl this turn. I got to hope that Drain Punch KOs. I really do. I think it should. Being plus one, you got to KO here. You got to KO. We're going to Snarl it and go for Drain Punch. He withdraws Annihilate. Is this Pelipper? gotta be Pelper. It is Pelper. Pelper comes through here. Smart call. Um, hopefully Snarl can actually land before Blastoids goes. No, you're Water Spawn. You Choice Scarf. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. You are Choice Scarf. You are Choice. Luckily I'm able to Snarl though. You are Choice. Scarf. Okay, I have a choice scarf Pokemon of my own. But now I'm sitting here in like a weird spot where oh, of course you have white herb too. Now I'm sitting here in a weird spot. Actually, you're probably not choice scarf, you probably just outspeed. Because I am I not upset that fast. 
But now I'm in a weird spot where it's like, do I bring out Ninetales and attack? Or do I go into Typhlosion and then swap into Ninetales? I think we're just gonna go. Mm, now we're gonna go in Typhlosion and swap into Ninetales. I don't have Terra either. I have so many fire types. I have to win this Weather War. Hopefully they don't swap Pelipper here. If they swap Pelipper, they pretty much get the win. But I gotta go in this Shadow Ball here and just attack this Blastoids. Oh man! Choice in the Shadow Ball. Can't choice to do a fire move. They have three Pokemon that uh, resist fire right now, so Shadow Ball is our best option. That water spout just did me in. It did me in there. Then I withdraw my Umbreon. I get out my nine tails. I mean, water spout can still do damage here. Hopefully they're not swapping to Pelipper. Like I said, we have a shot if they don't swap Pelipper here. And they don't. He ends up going for Helping Hand. It's gotta be Helping Hand Water Spout. My Typhlosion should go first. And it does. So this is gonna negate some of that water spout damage. Greatly, it's huge, and there's water spout. Mm, shouldn't do that much, right? Eh. Meh. But now from here, we are gonna swap back into you because you are going to swap into Annihilate. And if you swap into Annihilate, I'm gonna look to KO it. I'm gonna look to KO it. I'm gonna go right after it. Look to just take it out. Force him to go into Pelipper, and then we take full weather control. That's my plan. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping he swaps into Annihilate, we KO, they're forced to go into Pelipper, we, we're already swapping our Ninetales, and then we can just get into our Ninetales and have full weather control. But this isn't going to work if they don't swap, or if we don't KO Annihilate. So it's, 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 there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. So we swap into our Umbreon. We need them to swap into Annihilate here. I'm making this read all day. And they do swap into Annihilate. I got to pick up the KO. I got to pick up the KO here. I have to pick up the KO. Oh, that's tough. That HP's tough. Come on. Go ahead. Do him dirty. Come on. This thing's bulky, though. Pick up the KO. Oh, man. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. I do mirror herbage attack boost. Don't really matter. But that really hurts that I don't pick up the KO there. Out comes Water Spout. And now I'm forced to bring out Ninetales and I lose this game. I need to KO there. I think they actually would have weather regardless. But is there? Do I have some sort of shot? Do I have some sort of shot here? Any chance? I I mean I do have weather ball. I mean, what, what can I really do here? What can I really do here? Because shadow ball is not going to KO. I am going to go for a heat wave regardless. I am going to go for shadow ball here. There's the withdrawal of the annihilate. We might have a shot. I don't know. Helper does have wide guard. I'm going to have to watch out for that. They get the weather going. I need Shadow Ball with the KO. If not, I need Ninetales outspeed, which I think it can. Let's see, Shadow Ball, can you just do it? You don't. Heat Wave, can you outspeed? Yo, hit the Blast Waves, please. Come on, man! Maybe it'll soak, though. That's good news. That is good news. So, I mean, going for Heat Wave is definitely our best call. I kind of wish I'd protect, but I got to go for Shadow Ball into this slot. All right, let's see how this one plays out. We got Annihilate real low. We got Annihilate real low. But luckily, I mean, he's in the Water Spout right now. He's not choice until he's just using it. Which is kind of odd. But Pelipper's chilling here in the rain, ready to do big time damage. Hopefully it has like Hydro Pump and maybe it misses. Maybe we get some RNG back because I missed a Heat Wave. RNG back here would be huge. Or if I get like a crit with Shadow Ball. Oh my lord. Let's see how much damage we can do here. Shadow Ball launches. I got a crit. I got a crit. I just need to land this Heat Wave and I, and I win. Oh my god. The Pokey Gods RNG'd me. They paid back for my RNG. I, I just asked. I said, all I want is you to miss a Hydro Pump or for me to get a crit on the Shadow Ball. And we got a crit on the Shadow Ball. <laughs> Winning this game. Wow, dude, that's actually crazy. I kind of feel bad for our opponents. But hey, it happens to me all the time. You guys seen it plenty of times. So 
I'm, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take this win all day. I'm going to go into Shadow Ball. I outspeed. We're going to win this game. We start off Regulation H 2-0. He's going to protect. It does nothing. I'm choice. I'm flying in speed. I'm flying in speed. But wow. What a lucky win. What a lucky win. We lost the Weather War. Our opponent played this one pretty good. And we still end up winning. <laughs> That's just Pokemon. That's just competitive Pokemon for you guys. Critical hit. Happens. It, it happens, man. Sometimes you just got to ask for it. And that's what I did. I just asked for it, and I got it. There we go. Shadow Ball coming out here. Weather Ball on top of that. They stand no chance. Both my Pokemon actually outspeed this thing. That's game, set, match. I think they're trying to figure out a way out around this. But, yeah, there's no way around it. GG to our opponent. We are now sitting 2-0 and in regulation each. So far, so good on the rank ladder. Another Weather War on our hands. Charizard. Torkoal. Rillaboom, Gudra, Dragapult, and Archaludon. Or not Archaludon, Duraludon. Love that Pokemon. Love that Pokemon. See? Regulation H is just a good time. But for us, our lead should probably be, especially with all these special attackers, Umbreon. Or I could just go like Annihilate Mousehold. It's not a bad call. Actually, we don't have a Weather War. It's Sun and Sun. Sun and Sun. I'm going straight into you. I'm going to go Typhlosion here. If you set the weather, you set the weather. If not, I could just go with the Shadow Ball and kind of get cooking from there. But I'm going to go into Umbreon. I think Snarls, all that good stuff could really rock out with us. And we could just go into Mousehold Annihilate. Yeah, I like that. A little bit of Mousehold Annihilate late game situation. I think it could work wonders for us. I think it could work wonders for us. Because we're going to need a way to kind of deal with that... Uh, the Raladon, especially because it's probably Evo Light. Torkoal is a pretty bulky Pokemon, which I can just start Rage Fisting down after, like, beat ups. But yeah, no Weather War. Why did I think there was a Weather War? It's Sun and Sun. So it's just a Sun Weather War. It's just who wants to set the Sun. But I don't care who sets the Sun. That's the whole thing. But I end up going Torkoal Charizard, which I love. I'm in love. I am in love. I am in love. He's got Heat Rock and Choice Scarf. So he's going to outspeed my Umbreon, which is eh, a little bit of a problem. But if I can get off a nice little... Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? What am I doing? We got Water Terror. A perfect Water Terror. So I'm going to go Water Terror. And bum, 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 bum. I think we're going to Shadow Ball you down. Just in case you want to go for Eruptions. I really don't feel like dealing with that, right? Could end up hard swapping. Could be a heat wave though. Um let's shadow ball down this twerkle. Actually, this Charizard, more importantly. This snarl is really just gonna help us out. Alright, water terror Umbreon, match number three. We're going for it. We're going for that 3-0 perfect record on the rank glider to get things started. We are going for it. So nice little water terror. Setting us up. I am scared of this thing. This Charizard. Gonna go for a Fire Blast. Nice little Water Terror. Oh my damage. Holy damage. Shadow Ball is gonna launch into that. Bop. Big time damage there too. The Snarl is gonna launch and get that special attack drop. The most important thing. So Torkoal sitting here. Earth Power in me? Maybe? Rock Tomb in me. You gonna slow me down? You're not gonna slow me down. How dare you? Alright, so Solar Power is going to chip up you. Um, I'm just going to go into another Snarl, and I might swap into Mouse Hold here. Is he's honestly going to swap Charizard. He's honestly swapping Charizard. Honestly, if you're swapping Charizard, why not just attack? I think he's swapping Charizard. I'm just going to go into Storkle slot. Yep, there's swap Charizard. I could have went Shadow Ball in that slot. But I think we used it last turn, so they might go into a Pokemon that can, you know, soak us up. And Roll Boom's a good call. But I am choosing this. Maybe I want to swap my Type Poison next turn. He's going to Grassy Seed his own self. Okay. A little bit of defense boost. And I'm going to Mirror Herb that. Give me that defense boost. <laughs> good old Mirror Herb, baby. Shadow Ball is launching. So Shadow Ball cooking in this. He doesn't know I'm choice, though, which is good news. And Snarl is going to launch, making this Torkoal minus two. Unless we miss Torkoal. Okay, good thing we hit Torkoal. I'd rather hit Torkoal than that Rollaboom. Really get off some value here. 
There's that rock team gonna launch again and doing some damage. So my speed's dropped. Now's a good time for me to swap this. Uh, that's a good turn for me to swap this. Uh, what's it called? This Typhlosion. But do I want to double swap here? Could be faking out. He could be going for Grass God. I think a double swap would be nice here. I think a double swap could be really good for us. But into what slot? I mean... I think we swap Annihilate into Umbreon slot. And then we swap Mousehold into this slot. Because if you're going to go for a fake out, it would be into the Umbreon slot. And I can just have this Ghost type in here. If you're going to go for Grass God, I mean, you can hit my... I annihilate, like, be my guest. You just boost Rage Fist at this point, you know? And I could just follow me, start dropping Rage Fist. I mean, Roll Boom's a big time problem for us. And we're gonna have to deal with it, but we're figuring it out now. High horsepower launches in this slot. That's fine. That's fine. We soak that. And body press launching into that slot. Ooh, okay. Cool. That's a fine turn for me. That's a fine swap for me. That's a fine swap for me. So I'm not really worried about this Torkoal. I'm really not worried about this Torkoal. I really am not worried about this Torkoal, and I'm thinking I'm just going to go Rage Fist beat up here. I just want to check his speed real quick. How fast are you? You got to be pretty fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 179. Total beat up play for us. Total beat up play for us. Grass guy, we should soak this. We do. Cool. Awesome. Perfect time for us. Yeah, we got to get off damage on the Robum here. Robum is just a massive threat. And he probably just body presses and takes out my mouse hold, or maybe Rock Tombs me. And that's fine, because then I'll take the speed drop, and I'll just get an attack boost. It's a good double swap on our end, just for, like, repositioning purposes, and then Rage Fist doing that damage. That's huge, and you're gonna Will-O-Wisp me. Why do you have Will-O-Wisp? Ah! Why do you have Will-O-Wisp? Kinda hurts soul, but so Rage Fist st still does ridiculous amounts of damage. So I can follow me here. I can... Drain Punch. I mean, I'm getting back a ton of HP here. Again, I'm not really too worried about Torkoal. I get that you have Will-O-Wisp. But, I mean, it's not going to affect any of my other Pokemon. Hmm. Yeah, you got Charizard. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to Rage Fist this slot again. I'm just Rage Fist in this slot. And I'll just go for... Actually, I'll just protect. You're going to try to take out Mousehold here. I'm gonna try to take out Mousehold. So I'm gonna protect him. I'm gonna give Mousehold another turn. I, th I think he grants you guys this Mousehold slot. Yep. Nice call for me. Nice little call for me. So Torkoal's just chilling on this field being minus two. It can't really do much. Rage Fist's gonna fly. We finally get rid of Rillaboom. They have Chardizzy in the back end, which it has the Choice Scarf. I have Umbreon. Um, Choice Scarf is scary. Rock Team's gonna launch. You're gonna Defiant Pop me. Thank you very much. Just boost that attack, baby. Just boost that attack. So now we're sitting plus two on attack. Rage Fist can do a lot of damage. Do a lot of damage. Rage Fist plus two. I know I'm burned, but come on, man. You're hitting me. I, I've been beat up a couple times. Let's see who, who he ends up going into. Probably Charizard, which is the scary Pokemon. If he wants to go for Heat Wave. But if he does go in the Charizard, I can just follow me the shot. Because it seems like he has Fire Blast over Heat Wave. But he could have both. Definitely could have both. Yep, there, here comes Char Char. The Char Char back on the field. I think we should be able to soak up a Heat Wave. But actually, Sun should end soon. Is it one turn in Sun? Is it one turn in the Sun? Oh, no, you're Heat Rocked. Oh, man, that's ugly. That's ugly. So I'm going to go for Drain P Punch. Because I know Drain Punch will KO the Charizard. And I want to get back a little bit of HP. And I'm just going to follow me. A little bit of follow me. Just in case it's Fire Blast. It could definitely be Fire Blast. What you got? Fire Blast? Air Slash. Good follow me. Great follow me. So Mouse Hold. Great work. Great work, Mouse Hold. Brain Punch launches. Bye bye, Char Dizzy. Get it on out of here. And now we're sitting in a pristine position now pristine position to win this game. Wow, we played this one good. The double swap was huge. The repositioning swap. This thing's going for body press. LOL. And we dodge it. Cool, so Torkoal's minus two. Torkoal can't do much. Torkoal's just chilling here. We actually got some sun power going on here. And 
Might as well just go into you. Playing a Typhlosion. I can just like flamethrower whoever I want. That's her final Pokemon. Who is her final Pokemon? I don't think we've seen it yet. Did we see it? I don't think we have. I don't think we have. And it's just going to be Dragapult. Do I outspeed with this choice scarf? I'm hoping I do. What's your speed at? Because he's about like 200. Yeah, okay, you outspeed. Real question is, did they use Terra? They did not. That's the scary part here. So honestly, I'm going to Rage Fist. I'm, I'm just going to double down in Dragapult. No way you have normal Terra. I'm just going to double down in Dragapult. He protects. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. He's going to slow me down, isn't he? He's going to slow me down. What are you doing? You rock to him and he is rock to him. Now I don't know if my boy outspeeds. I think I have to just double down into this thing again. Oh man. I got a rage fist. I have to rage fist here. I have to hope that we can soak up whatever Dragon Pole has to offer. Oh, we could Phantom Force away. I'm rage fisting you. And I'll shadow ball this slot. You could Phantom Force out of here. Good call, good call on my end. I think he's going to Phantom Force out of here. I should have Ghost Terra. And you want to go for Terra Blast. You could go for Dragon Darts. Kind of scary here, dude. This Dragon Pulse is no joke. I mean, I got Umbreon late game, but... I don't know, man. There's the Terra. There's the Terra. Which is why I switched a little bit. But I still think you're going for Phantom Force. What you got cooking here? Very Terra. Oh, man. We might lose this. This is the perfect Terra for my team right now. Terra Blast launching. Oh, no. Please tell me we soak this. Oh, no. The crit returns and gets revenge on me? Oh, no. Oh, no. We're so losing this game. Oh, we get it. Hold up. Get a crit. But Rock Team's KO on us. Yeah, no, we lose this. We lose this. We lose this game unless... Unless... Unless I can soak up shots and then foul play KO and then Moonlight HP recovery our way to victory. Only way. Only shot here. And we gotta go for it. We gotta go for foul play here. It's our one and only hope. It's our one and only hope. You protect. Why are you protecting? It's working, but why are you protecting? It works, but why are you protecting? Oh, man. What a match, though. Body press launch. How much damage are you doing? Again, we have to soak both of these. <laughs> we have to soak both of these. We have to go for foul player. Moonlight last turn would have been monstrous. We read the Protect and Moonlight at last turn. Dragon Darts launches. And yeah, we're not going to be able to soak another Body Press. Oh, man. Foul Play's going to KO. We're not soaking another Body Press. GG's to our opponent. GG's. Unless somehow we do, but no, we're not. I should go for like Rock Tomb or something. Do something stupid. That'd be nice. Nope, there's the Body Press. GG's. What a match. What a third and final match. So we end up going 2-1 and one for today's video. Absolutely love today's video and all the matches we played. What a way to get Regulation H started on the rank ladder. Going 2-1 and one for today's video with this off-meta-ish kind of team, but still a lot of fun. Umbreon, Typhlosion, getting a lot of work done, doing it all. Foul plays, snarls, eruptions, flamethrower, shadow balls, you name it. These Pokemon were here for it, and they grabbed themselves a winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.